What's up guys? So, just a really quick vlog just to keep me updated and just to let you know that I haven't forgotten about the channel. I have got videos coming up but I've just been mega busy and under a lot of stress. Um, I recently lost my little cleaning job and I'm fingers crossed getting another one. It's just a bit hectic than now. Uh, my body's kind of killing me as well. A lot of my joints are going and my feet are kind of swelling up again around the ankle and it's really painful. And I've got a lot of kind of hotspot appointments in and out of air, so that's interesting as well. So, not looking forward to any of that. But I just thought I'd give you a quick update on what stuff's kind of coming up for review. Um, still, I've bought a few things. Uh, I've bought the Black Boxer Clone, the little squonker. I've bought that, little mechanical mod. Uh, I got that from VF Vape, and along with that I got a super soft bottle and the... Umie Wasp Nano RDA, so really, really looking forward to trying that. I've been really getting into my squonking lately. Uh, the only problem is <coughs> the ones I've had haven't been too good. I did have the Council of Vapor Wrath or Wraith, whatever you like to call it. It was good, but I needed something with a little bit more kick. 80 watts just wasn't pushing it. And then half the time you weren't getting 80 watts, it was kind of regulating it down, so you were getting nowhere near that. So it's a bit of pain in the ass. Uh, so I've got them coming in for review. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a list down below in all my videos now. Uh, of stuff that I've got kind of in the back of my mind to order for review uh, from the Vape. They do take a while to come. I mean, I think it's I think it's supposed to be like to nine to fifteen days, depending. I mean, it's China, so you never know. <coughs> but. I'm going to start leaving that down below, you can check it out, uh, I think it's a wish list and if you see anything on it you want me to review, just let me know in the comments below and I'll concentrate on getting that one in for review because uh, it means, it means it gives you guys a little insight into what I can get for review, what I can afford just now with the job situation and then it means that I know what you want, i got a little cat here in my mouth there <laughs> it lets me know what you guys want and then that helps me in the end run so, a couple of things to touch on today. Uh, I recently had to sell quite a lot of my mods because I was skint. Um, I think it was on Vape Don't Smoke. Yeah, you need to head on over and check that Facebook group, by the way. Paul, who does the Vape Don't Smoke YouTube channel, has a Facebook group, Vape Don't Smoke and VDS Sale and Buy page. Uh, head on over and join the, the main group first. Get to know them and then join the sales page. Excellent, excellent group. It's one of the best groups I've been on on Facebook, to be honest with you. No bullshit, no drama, no fuckwits as well. So, really top notch. And Paul is an amazing guy. He's done some stuff for me that I'll never, ever forget. Uh, really good guy. So, make sure you give him a little sub as well down there. You've probably already subscribed to him anyway. The bastard's more famous than me. I know. That's terrible. Uh, but yeah, check him out, he's a great guy. Um, on there, uh, I sold a lot of my stuff. So then, the only thing I had left was an Into, or a, a, a yeah, an Into, because um, it's called something else with Total Wicked and all that stuff. The Into, I think it's the I Power, um, the little 80 watt thing, which just wasn't kicking it for me at all. I need power, I'm used to higher wattage so I have been kind of rocking some of my mech mods uh, the little rogue clone and on top I've got this coming well I've got this all coming for review I'm going to review the mech mod uh, it did come with a dripper I might review the dripper with it I don't know um, the Gun 1.5 clone which I got from Knucklehead Vapes excellent excellent oh I love this dripper uh, if I open it up just now This should be having a little charge in it, so. Excellent dripper, and that's a dual Chaos Wire Flapton, uh, Flapton build in there, and it's coming out at 0 0.09. It hits like a fucking steam train. I know I hate that saying, but it does, it hits quite nice. I love it. So yeah, got them coming up for review. I love them. Um, I've got this little beauty for review as well. Uh, you've probably already seen loads of reviews for it. It's the Coil Up um, 
what do you call it, D-Pro dripper. And it comes with a squawk pin as well. I love this little thing, I'll try and show you the deck. So that's it there. You can do a little single coil, well a big single coil, you can do two hydro coil setup. <coughs> and it's a kind of postless setup as well. Uh, I really like it. A couple of niggly points, but overall I love it. Uh, so watch that review when it comes out as well. I've seen other people's reviews and a lot of them are saying it's strictly a single coil RDA, which is total bullshit. Because they're saying it affects the airflow and all that. Single coil is okay, but it really comes out on its on its own when it's dual coil. You can fit a I wrap them around a 3mm bit and it's clapped on wires I put in there and two of them fit in there with more space at the sides. So I don't know what they're complaining about. I love it. Uh, but, hmm, people. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying with the wattage thing, uh, I had the recoil RDA left and I put that up for sale and somebody offered me a swap uh, and he gave me this. The GX350 kit. So it's the full kit he gave me. I've just put my own drip tip on there. Uh, so glad to have some wattage back as well. So nice. And I've got some Desired Desserts Jam Tart by Exceptional Vapes. And speaking of Exceptional Vapes, he did get in touch and he's sending over the Ice Ice Maybe range. And he said another range, I can't remember. I think it was the Chubby Gorilla ones. <coughs> and he got in touch and he sent them over. So a huge thank you to Carol for that. Um, I can't wait. I mean, I've, I've been trying to savour this. My lemon tart is already done. I finished that the other day. Uh, the, what is it, the raspberry tart is almost done. I'm kind of on and off with that one. Uh, and there was another one. The lemon, it was like a sesty lemon topper thing. That one I'm, I'm leaving to steep because it's getting better and better as it ages. But yeah, jam tart. Fucking beautiful. Um, so yeah, I maybe sure I'll we review this up as well because it did come as a kit. I know it's old, but it'll be nice to give your opinion on it, I suppose. Uh, another thing that I am going to review, which is going to piss a lot of people off, but I don't care. Um, <coughs> Angora Rabbit or Angor Rabbit Cotton. Now, everybody in their dogs reviewed this. Uh, a lot of kind of Positives and negatives to it from them. Uh, I wasn't too sure on reviewing it because they say it's a hundred percent organic cotton, right? And it looks spotless. I mean, you can't smell anything off it or anything like that. Uh, it looks nice and white. It look, looks like cotton bacon, really. Um, <sighs> Tony, the guy that sent it over, I've been talking to non-stop. Well, trying to talk to non-stop. And I've been trying to ask him some questions. Now, the big thing about this is it's supposed to be fire resistant. So, once you're using it, you've got your juice on there and stuff. Say you don't realise you're going to get a dry hit and then the coils, ca the cotton catches fire. You, this is supposed to do that for 20 seconds and then you blow it out and you can vape it again. You'll put juice on it and vape it again. And then you can do that same thing three times. So you can burn it for 60 seconds on and off. Uh, and it's supposed to not taste a kind of burnt or anything like that and the little black bits are supposed to wipe off. I've seen mixed reviews on that. I have tried it on my own. You'll see that in the review. But I wasn't too sure about reviewing it because I've been asking them constantly what they've did to it to make it like this because it cannot be 100% organic if it's fire resistant. So I've been trying to look into that. I keep getting a whole load of guff off them but... In my own personal opinion, I love it. Um, there's a funny little taste, as with every, well, most cotton. To be honest with you, it's very similar to cotton bacon. I've got the same kind of break-in time with this as I have with cotton bacon. Um, but once that's away, it's it's a brilliant cotton to vape with. It's super, super absorbent. It, it soaks up a lot of juice. And once you get rid of that taste, the break-in period... It's, it's perfect, it really is. Uh, another thing that kind of worried me about it was, where is it? Uh, it said it on one of the other packages. See, I've got, <coughs> they sent me over 10 packets today, but I've got another 20 in the back. Uh, and it did say not to be used in a medical kind of 
environment kind of thing. But also that's what worries me because if it's 100% organic cotton, that's what hospitals use for like your, your cuts and stuff. Or if, if they give you a jag, they put a bit of cotton on you and then you hold it in for a bit. So yeah, I mean, mixed reviews on it, but I vape away on it and I've not got any issues. So I'm going to review it. If people don't like it, then there's a little unsubscribe button down there. You can hit that and run away into a wee corner and sit and greet. There you go. Um, what else have I got coming up? Coilmaster sent me out the Coilmaster V something kit. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a V3 kit. Comes with a little uh, 521 mini tab as well. Quite old, but if you're going to be DIYing, that's the tools you want. You really do. And I've used them non stop since I got them. I have broke a set of the tweezers though, yeah, but you'll see that in the video. <laughs> but I've managed to replace them with a semi broke stuff, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, other than that, <coughs> I think I've got a lot of things like, kind of on order that are expected to come in, which I don't want to say yet because it's the first time ordering from the site and I don't know if it's going to go too good or not. It was a, a Chinese site that I've never tried before, but we'll see. Juice wise as well, I think I've got a few juices coming in from another company. Uh, I'm going to be up front with you guys. A company got in touch with me and they said they'll send me out all these juices and all these kind of it'll eventually lead to tanks and stuff. Uh, I never ever promise a, a positive review. I give an honest review. If the company don't like it, then they don't need to send me anything again. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> but they send me stuff and they're sending me affiliate links for it. So every time someone clicks on it, if they want to buy it and they purchase it, I get a percentage of that. I see nothing wrong with that. You see people complaining about that on YouTube. Uh, I don't get involved in drama because I couldn't care really. But I see nothing wrong with that. I've seen people complaining about this, about affiliate links. Uh, oh, they're earning money for clicking on that link if someone buys it. Why shouldn't we? We spend a lot of time doing these videos. And if someone likes a flavour, then why shouldn't we get a little bit of something off it? But these same people that have got the problem with that, put in their description below an Amazon wish list so that people can go and buy them cameras, microphones and everything else. I know, so who's the money grabber there? I mean, all I'm doing is sending you a link. If you want to click on it, you can. I mean, you can always go and Google it if you don't want to click on the link. That's up to you. So yeah, you always got 100% honesty with me guys, I really don't give a for shit, really. I mean, if I'm going to earn a little bit of money off it and I'm still being honest, then I don't see anything wrong with that. Uh, I'll never, ever lie and say that a product's good when it isn't. Uh, and I've proved that before. I mean, Joytech have kind of fell out of me because of that. <laughs> and Joytech sent me a lot of stuff. But I'm always brutally honest in my reviews and I don't care. I mean, like it or lump it. Uh, just because I got it for free doesn't mean I'm going to go, oh, it's fantastic here, go and run out and buy it. Because if you run out and buy it, pardon me, and it turns out to be shit for yous, then yous aren't going to come back and watch my videos. So there's no point in lying about it. But yeah, that's about it, I think. Uh, Camera-wise, I'm still working on a camera. Just now, I'm going to have to rely on using this little Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini. Just for the front face and stuff, I've tried doing some close-ups with it and it's absolutely diarrhoea. It honestly is. You'd probably have a more pleasant time having diarrhoea. But uh, my missus has an iPhone 5, so I'm going to try using that. Uh, nothing wrong with using phones. I've, I've used phones for every single video. But, yeah. So, we'll see how that goes. I'm choking for a decent camera. It's really doing my tits in. I'm hoping that I'm... Um, Maybe for all my work, do a little tax rebate and then I can buy a decent camera or even a webcam just now to do me. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. I mean, just now, as you see by the background, I'm sitting in the living room recording because the light comes from that side. And if I sit in the room, it's, the light isn't too good. Plus, my room's a bit of a shit tip, so I don't like seeing that in the background. It's kind of it's badly needing decorated. It hasn't been decorated since we moved in, so... Uh, and you can probably hear the blinds rattle about. Scotland get about four days of summer this year, and now it's kind of 
verging on sunny slash pissing with rain and <laughs> blowing a gales and my blinds are kind of waving in and out just now but yeah uh, I'm going to go just now because as you can see by my eyes I'm quite tired this is Monday and it's what is it 25 past 2 p.m. so 25 past 2 in the afternoon I haven't been to sleep since I woke up Sunday morning uh, I tried to get to bed last night and I don't know what it was, I think I ate something I was allergic to. My face kind of swole up and my lips kind of swole up. Uh, my feet started getting itchy, like as if there was kind of ants crawling on them. And then that started travelling up my body and I started getting so itchy. I'm a, a, a tiny little bit itchy just now. So it stopped me from sleeping and then I got up out of my bed at 1am 1, uh, 1 because I was supposed to start work at 4am. Uh, because I'm still doing like, it's, I'm getting like six hours a week or something like that just now, but every penny helps. So, I got up, and I, this was without sleep, came through here to sit, and I've been awake ever since. So, yeah, I've not had sleep since la since yesterday morning, when I woke up, I've not been to sleep. So I've been up about 20, 28 hours, just over 28 hours or something like that. I don't know, my maths is horrible just now and I had to go to work and function like this for two and a half hours which was fun try to push a big uh, scrubber dryer machine when you're falling asleep on your feet uh, it's a bit scary <laughs> <coughs> but anyway guys what I'm going to do in this video just now is uh, I know I've said about this cotton so it's entirely up to you guys if you want to enter it personally, I've been using this since it came I've already went through two packets and I notice no difference, my breathing's still the same, the taste is the same, it, just, it works fine. So what I'm going to do is give away five packets of this in this video to five people, so one packet each. Um, leave a comment below and tell me, no in fact, wait there, what will I do? I want to do something quite different actually. Uh, ah, nah, we'll just do that. Leave a comment below, uh, tell me why you want it. Uh, if you trust it and then hit the like button let me know you don't have to subscribe if you don't want you guys but it, it does help it helps the channel grow but yeah five packets uh, so one packet for each person and yeah brand new packets they last a good while I mean I think there's something that I don't know the size but there's quite a lot there one packet lasted me well over a month and it would have lasted longer but I was trying out different drippers so yeah but yeah enter that and good luck to everybody and I'll announce the winner today is the 31st of July oh so yeah I'll announce the winner on the 27th of August which is my anniversary for me and my little missus uh, we're not married but uh, we met on the 27th of August well we got together on the 27th of August 2005 hence the 2005, uh, my wee Ava. So this year we've been together 12 years, so yeah, a uh, little special. Yeah, I can be a romantic little bastard when I want to, trust me. But yeah, I'll announce the winners then, guys. But thanks very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.